So here we have a simple star and a circle, which just overlap each other. And if we select both, we can see we've got four Boolean operations, which are Unite, Subtract, Unite at Overlap, and Subtract at Overlap. The first one, Unite, is what you'll use 99% of the time. And that basically combines the total shapes and just leaves the outside perimeter. It deletes everything on the inside. So if we select both and chose Unite, that's exactly what we get. The second operation, I'm going to put these onto the engrave process, just so you can see easier what is on top of the other. Here we've got the, the star on top of the circle because the order matters. With subtract, what we're going to do is take away the top shape from the bottom shape, leaving only the parts of the bottom shape that you can see. So in this case, the only parts that you can see would be these sections here. So if we chose both and went to subtract, that's exactly what we get. But if we now rearrange the order and have the circle on top of the star, we're going to take away the circle from the star. So we will just be left with these sections. That's the only bit that you can see. So if we chose subtract again, that's exactly what we get. Now, I'm just going to put these back onto the score process. The next operation is called United Overlap. And this joins all the parts that are overlapping. So there's no overlapping parts here or here, but there is here all the way around. So if we selected both and chose United Overlap, again, that's what we get. And the last operation is called Subtracted Overlap. I'm just going to put these onto the engraving process because you might see some funny looking results. So if we selected both and chose subtract to overlap, this is what we get. Now, the reason is if we put them onto the score layer, it's a compound vector. And if we release the compound vector, you can actually see we've got two results. We've got a unite function and the second one, which is unite at overlap we get two results. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.